the one of the templates in a series of our GS um, uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, uh, one of our short templates that we show how you uh, do some of these things that you can add into your game. Um, so as you can see here, we have some small uh, small amount of actors. Uh, these three right here, the generic image, child pat, and top square, they don't have any logic in them, uh, but what they're used for is just to make the uh, theme uh, prettier. They're more design uh, uh, aspect things. Uh, physics turned off on them, uh, no preload art, uh, any kind of size and image modifications are done on the instances that are unlocked. Um, so that takes care of those three actors. Uh, what I have left is uh, the application on over is a level select and some other buttons and uh, some other things that I'll show you in a second. So first, uh, that one arena, one button that when you press it, it goes into this menu that uh, if you all play Candy Crush, you have this big gigantic menu of all these levels that you can scroll up and down, and they're unlocked or they're all locked. And there's this little button over here that will scoot you over to the next group of levels uh, once you have unlocked enough levels or stars. Uh, this thing down below shows you the progress. Uh, it's all set in a table, but for uh, purposes of later, the later part of this presentation, uh, I already filled in some of the tables for completion. Um, so I'll show you right quick. Uh, I can't click on these levels that are all locked, uh, but I'll click on this one. Uh, it'll randomly give you uh, additional stars to your completion score. Uh, so this one, you gain two stars, which means you've completed it, and then you can go to the second one. Uh, this little robot thing is supposed to move. Uh, I turned it off because I was debugging stuff. Uh, again, no stars. Failed that level. Try it again. Sorry, turn to stop up again. goes to the next level. He starts on the last level he completed and goes to the next open level. So you click on it. Hey, you got three stars. And then you unlock the next level. He goes to the next one. Uh, and we'll continue on. And I will go to the level to show you that, hey, I've completed 46 levels. I'll start you off with that. And it automatically bounces you to uh, that level once you get into the level menu instead of you having to scroll up all the way to the top. Um, so let's finish up a few more levels to show you that uh, I only have 76 out of 150. So I actually needed E4. So I'm going to try to finish off getting some stars. So unlock it because to unlock this to get to the next area, you require uh, some number of stars. So we have a quick question. Um, it's not going to be a stand-up fight or another fight. <laughs> <Mom. laughs> uh, that means uh, alien 
is Russia. Yeah, really Russia. Okay. So this got unlocked, and it scooches, scooches you to the next area. Uh, there's a couple ways that you can do this. You can really the level select actors and uh, reposition them into this new area, or you can just uh, map it out and just have a bunch of different actors that uh, you can fill it out. Uh, as you can see here, this little icon changed for this little area. So it's now a little uh, crown, uh, chess piece crown, instead of the star that you see right there. Uh, so the, if you all have read the forum, there's like another uh, how to do a star, uh, star level completion uh, level thing. Uh, the, the interesting thing about this is uh, if you see this actor, you don't see any stars here. Where it's actually displaying are little icons I found. Uh, they're just Unicode. Um, other things. You have Unicode, a filled in star, and an empty star. So if you find uh, the uh, similar icons, you can say, I want to use stars on this area. I want to use uh, chess kings on this area. So this is how many that you select. And so they're text and not images. Yes. Uh, so you can have like tons of different areas with all these different icons. Uh, so you don't have to make uh, what is it four four or five different uh, images for each level select for uh, for every area uh, being. Uh, one for no stars, three for the uh, one, two, or three star spills, and then one for a lock level. Uh, this way you can just dynamically say, I'm going to use stars, I'm going to use rainbows, whatever. Uh, and I can change the color of that to uh, yellow stars or green stars. Uh, that's all defined in this level select thing. Uh, so it's pretty easy. Uh, when uh, when the level is unlocked, uh, being that the uh, level offset that's changed in the instance is less than the um, the max unlocked level, uh, then it's available to be clicked on and show uh, the different display text of how many things, how many stars uh, are shown. Uh, this webinar thing was in the way. Uh, this is kind of a long expression. Um, but what it's doing is doing a text repeat um, for the building stars, um, and then pulling the the build icon from that table, depending on the area, um, and then it's uh, concatenating a text repeat of the difference between the max number of stars uh, per level minus the uh, um, the total number of stars for that specific level that uh, it already achieved. Uh, and that that you can get the that way you can get the uh, one star filled with two unfilled stars or something like that. Um, so also in here is um, since I'm going to one screen, it's a wind screen that gives me the some random number of stars per level. Uh, it can jump to the wind screen. But uh, if you happen to have multiple scenes or one scene per level. Uh, you can actually uh, use this kind of, of logic that says um, if the view state is greater than one, which means it's in a level select and at that main screen, is I can go to a scene by index and from that I will uh, use this expression and check in this table called level IDs that says uh, where is the scene in index. So if I have uh, 100 different scenes all designed nicely because I didn't want to use uh, logic to define how my level set up. Uh, I want to do the uh, just uh, WYSIWYG, uh, what I see is what I get kind of level. Then I say uh, for level one, the scene index is level four for scene four. Uh, if you all haven't seen what the, uh, uh, the change scene uh, based on index does, is uh, I have my list of scenes. They had all these different scenes. Uh, this scene right here is, is index number four. So when I do a change scene based on index and specify the number four, 
then it should go to that team. And if you wanted to specify, um, going back to this uh, level select and the chain scene, if I wanted to specify a scene based on a name, I can go into that table and give it a specific name, but then I would have to use a um, table search, uh, which is a function coming out in 0.11 that can search a specific row or specific column and pass in a parameter of a, specific, of a name uh, that I can look for, uh, look for that value in a cell for uh, exact or starts with or some other search parameter. Uh, and it will give me the row or column depending on which search, search case I had. Um, and with that value, I can pass it into the table cell value and specify another column, which uh, this would be scene index. Uh, and then I can, uh, that would give me the scene index for the scene I want to go to. It's really a lot of work. Uh, there's some videos out on how this works. Uh, but that is pretty much it on that. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm done. So, do uh, you have questions? Do you have a again? Yeah. Is this template already available? Uh, no, I'm still kind of working. Okay. The work process. And okay. we could change the actors to what we want for the level select. Okay. Including a little robot, or whatever. Yeah. Um. So, can you highlight for what what which new functions you're using? Yeah. Uh, some of the new functions I've used are the table column sum um, that uh, I use for depending on how many levels I have per area. So that will give me um, the setting gives me a sum of all the uh, levels uh, from the first one to whatever current level I'm, at, I'm on. So say I'm, I've unlocked or I've completed 101 levels. Um, if the maximum um, levels uh, completed is less than uh, is, uh, yeah, less than the sum of uh, one through something or other, uh, whatever uh, whatever uh, area of levels I'm on, then it will unlock or it will allow the uh, button that will uh, let you scooch to the next set of levels uh, to be unlocked or not. Uh, that's one of the uh, conditions in a rule. Uh, the other condition was based on the unlock. Uh, uh, requisites. Um, there's other um, text repeat. Uh, as I said before, um, that does a, it repeats a specific text uh, some number of times based on uh, the value uh, that you pass to it. Yes. Uh, what else did I use? The table column sum I've used. <coughs> table text repeat I've used. And that is, yeah, I think that is all that I use in this. Okay, so we've got two questions. One.
Well, uh, any other questions? <clears throat> Thank you, John.